Okay, graphing logarithmic functions with stretches or compressions applied. So what we're gonna do is first graph a parent function or one without any stretches or compressions, and then apply these transformations. All right, so log base four of X um, is our first graph here. And I've gone ahead and identified two key points. We have a vertical asymptote going on at the Y axis. That's when X equals zero. We have these key points, it's always one, comma zero, and then whatever the base is, comma one. So here's our base four, comma one. Next, what we're gonna do is apply, this is gonna be a stretch because it's a multiple attached to the entire function that's bigger than one. All right, so two is obviously bigger than one. What we're gonna do is we're going to multiply, basically we've uh, represented all the Y values with log base four of X. So what's going on with all of our y values is we're multiplying all of the y values by two. So we're going to apply that to each one of these key points along the way. So um, the point one zero is still going to remain at one zero. If you multiply that y value by two, you still end up with zero. But on this other one, we have four one. What's going to happen is that's going to become the key point four comma two. Because if you multiply that y value, by two, as the stretch is gonna indicate, that's gonna give you the ordered pair for two as a key point. Now this does not change our vertical asymptote. It's still gonna be at the y-axis when x equals zero. Just kind of sketching this in, what's gonna happen is this is gonna be a little bit taller and skinnier. It's more difficult to see with logarithmic functions, but basically each one of these points is gonna be twice as far away from the x-axis as the previous point. So it's gonna look a little bit taller uh, steeper, I guess maybe is a good way to put it on this one. And then let's identify the domain range and vertical asymptote. So as you can see from our graph, our domain, it's only positive values or to the right of zero. We never quite get to zero uh, because that's where our vertical asymptote is gonna be located. And the range for each one of these is gonna be from negative to positive infinity. All right, let's do another one. This one's gonna be with what we refer to as a compression on our graph, okay? We know it's a compression because we're multiplying by one half out in front, so a number between zero and one. We refer to that as being a compression of our graph. And it's very similar as far as the work goes. We're gonna start with log base four of X's graph, these two key points again. But this time what's gonna happen is our Y values are represented again by log base four of X. So what's happening to each one of these Y values is you're multiplying each one by one half. So our key points are still gonna be one zero because you're gonna multiply that Y value by one half, but zero times one half is still zero. And then our other key point was at four one. When you multiply that Y value by one half, you're only gonna get four comma one half. All right, one times one half makes one half. Now connecting our points together, what's this is gonna look like is it's gonna be closer to the x-axis than the original. In fact, each one of these points that are on the original graph is gonna be half as tall. So each one of these gets compressed or closer to the x-axis. They're only half the y value as the original graph. So it should look, as we take a look at this, um, basically squish closer to the x-axis. Now, as far as the domain range and vertical asymptotes go, it's gonna be very similar to our previous one because this is a vertical transformation that our domain, as you can see from the graph, is just positive value. So we'd say from zero to infinity. Vertical asymptote has not changed, it's still gonna be at x equals zero. And the range on every one of these logarithmic functions is gonna be from negative to positive infinity. All right, hope this helps out as we're trying to graph with stretches and compressions. Good luck as you're working on them.